Greetings, it's Sally Teachers, YouTube is here and here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm just gonna preface the video first and then I'm gonna show you the footage and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting. So, but if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here and check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures, where a lot of these items are actually going to be for sale if you guys want to check them out. But you can already see kind of like a couple of those things right there. Uh, but so I went thrifting and it was a very, very rainy and difficult to bring my camera because there was a lot of walking, parking was kind of an issue, and I just wanted to want to carry a bunch of stuff to get wet, so there was that. <laughs> so I didn't really film too much, I did put a lot of stuff in my story, so if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, do that, and just in case it's raining still, which it has been for like the past month, and it's just been a little bit difficult to be carrying a camera around when I'm, like, when I'm walking around a lot, um, but anyway. I'm gonna play the footage now, and then I'll just get I'll get back to you and show you guys what I ended up getting. All right, you guys, we just got to um, where are we? Pasadena, and I am in the street. It's raining. The cars are driving by. Um, yeah. So luckily, I found like a spot that's not too far away from Crossroads. Uh, but I do have to walk. I have to like download this app or something so I can like pay for it because I don't have any change. Um, but I'm excited. I haven't been here in a quite some time, so I'm excited to take you guys in there with me. Um, but oh my gosh, that car almost hit that door. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go inside the store. And I'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, I made it inside. How cute is this, Mark? Or Michael Kors? Oh, and this Kate Spade. Also really cute as well. They have this pretty cool looking Rebecca Minkoff right here. This one's 28. I think this is a oh, Kate Spade that has like a stain. This Rebecca. I really like this Kate Spade with the lemons. This is super cute. You guys look how cute these Kate Spade owl shoes are. Alright guys, I just dropped off things that I got in my car. And now we are heading down the street to another store, so should be fun. Okay guys, I'm like totally dead. I've been looking for like a birthday gift for mom and I think this might be it. She loves Chloe and this style. Hey guys, I'm so dead with all the Chanel inside of here. I'm dying for all of these Balenciagas. This one's $2.99. This one is $2.49. Hey guys, we're here at another Crossroads store. I was actually on Melrose earlier, but it was raining so hard that I didn't bring you guys along with me. So I apologize profusely, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did end up getting. I got some pretty good stuff. But now, let's head into the store and see what we can find. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to get these Balenciagas. <laughs> I got these in gray for mommy you can use all the fit here. Hey right, guys, check out this Tory Burch wall or wallet. <laughs> belt. You guys been asking for belts? So I'm looking for them. And I am back. Okay, so let me start off with what I got from the first store that we went to, which was a Crossroads store. So I only got a couple things. The first thing that I got here is this beautiful Madewell leather backpack in a beautiful brown leather. This bag is so gorgeous. The leather feels so super nice and the straps are also leather but the underside is fabric there's that and then it has brass hardware this bag is so gorgeous and to top it all off it still does have the original tags on here as well from the store and i actually got this bag for 65 dollars and it is just phenomenal the inside is really nice and clean there's a zipper pocket Two more pockets right there that are open, and then the zipper pocket right here on the front. So, I was very excited to find this. This is the second Madewell backpack that I have found, and I just really, really love a good leather backpack. It's just so timeless. You can use them forever, and yeah, I just feel like they're always in style. You can always use a backpack, and these are just... So the Madewell ones are just really spectacular. I just love the leathers that they use in this one. The leather that this is, like... 
it just will grow better, uh, grow better and more beautiful with time. We can't even talk anymore. But yeah, look at that. So stunning. So this is the first thing that I have there. Then the next thing I have is right over here. Now this is a super, super cute Michael Kors satchel. And it's navy, well, is it? yeah, it's navy, navy soft piano leather, gold hardware. This bag is literally brand new. If you look inside, it still has all the original stuffing. The uh, crossbody strap is still wrapped up, tucked inside there. Um, oh, the only thing that's missing, I believe, is... Oh, no, is the dust bag in there? No. The dust bag is the only thing that is not included with the bag. It has all the original care cards. This bag retails for $298, and I got this guy for $47.50, which is spectacular. What a, an amazing deal. And, yeah, it's beautiful. I love this shape. It's kind of like a bowler. Uh, it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Alma. And I do love how the straps are attached right there. It kind of reminds me of the way that Givenchy does it with the an Antigona, Antigona, Antigone. Don't know how to pronounce it. But, yeah, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. <laughs> Stunning. It's like literally so brand new and it's ready. It's ready to go to a new home. So I was very excited to have found that in the store for you guys. So that was the first store that we went to. Then we walked down a ways down the street to another store. Ooh, I'm actually gonna show you those last. Um Oh wait, you know what? I didn't get that. I think I actually got that bag from a different store. Just, that was actually from a different Crossroads store. The actual other bag that I bought from the first store, I'm sorry, I went to a lot of stores today. And I went to a bunch of different Crossroads stores. That was actually the second Crossroads store that I went to where I got that um, Michael Kors bag. This is actually the Michael Kors bag that I found at that store. Now this is a lambskin quilted Michael Kors satchel gold, gold hardware. Beautiful. This leather is so, 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 so soft. And here's the interior. There is a zipper pocket and then four open pockets. It's actually pretty... It's actually really clean in here. It's in really, really great shape. Um, the leather, again, it's so soft, so supple, so beautiful. And this one was $55, but it was half off. So that is another one that's a really great deal. Beautiful. Love it. You know what though? Like, um, I will also ha I I will say this as well. Um, a lot of the times when I go to like um, other thrift stores that are like like other like Goodwill or um, like an eco thrift or something, the prices I find sometimes are more expensive than if I go to a Crossroads store or something like that, Buffalo Exchange. So, you know, you just have to shop around just like in any other regular retail store. You gotta shop around thrift stores too because they have like such crazy price differences sometimes. And sometimes their pricing just doesn't make sense. Like one time they'll have um, a Michael Kors bag or a Coach bag for like $10 at like a regular thrift store. And then another time they'll have one for $120. Like it's crazy. So the prices really are all over the price, uh, all over the price, all over the place sometimes. And what I like about like things, stores like Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange and stuff like that, uh, are that they are more consistent with their pricing and they have more of like a like a set, like set prices for certain things, which I really do like. So I think that's cool. And this bag is beautiful and I'm very excited to offer that for you guys as well. So those, um, I have one last thing though that I got from, yeah, I have one last thing that I got from, uh, Crossroads store and it is this beautiful Tory Burch belt. Super cute. It has the Tory Burch logo right there. It still has a little hang tag and that's because this belt is still pretty much brand new. It has the original Tory Burch tag on here. It was on, it was um, at $225 retail then it was I guess marked down at the store to $135 and then I got this guy for $16.50. You guys have been asking for more belts and I had to deliver. I found this really really great one and I hope you guys like it. This is a size um, large as well so yeah, size large. So cute. So 
a nice belt. So it just like wraps around like this. And it has the gold studs. And yeah, it's fun. This would be like a great, like, ooh, that would be really nice if you had like a white, like white dress and then you belted it with that. That would be really nice with some boots or you could just wear it with like regular jeans, whatever. That like possibilities are totally endless. So that is what I found with those. Okay, so then um, I went to, okay, so the, after I went to the first Crossroads, I went down to a second I always forget, I always mess up the name. I always think it's like Second something, Second Second Street, I believe is the name. Um, I went down to one of those stores and I saw a bunch of things that I liked, but I was like, I was having like a little bit of FOMO that I wanted to go to the other stores first. So I was like, I decided that I was going to leave that store, go to the other stores first and then come back because it was on the way back home. So I was like, I'm just going to do that. So I ended up leaving and I'll show you guys what I got at the next Second Street that I um, went to. And the first thing that I got is this really cute. Oh no, this is like this one I didn't film at all in the store um, because I had to do a lot of walking to get to it because I had to park far on the streets and it was like the raining was so spontaneous I didn't want anything to get wet or damaged. So the first thing I have here is this super cute pony hair Alexander McQueen card wallet. It's so nice. I love the print on it. I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this or put it up in the shop, but it has the signature skull on there with the little crystal eyeballs, and it just has um, four card slots. There's two right there, two in the back, and then there's one in the middle, so there's technically five. And these, like, I love these walls. I actually have a couple of these already, and I love them so much. I use them all the time. I love energy. I love little little wallets or I love like big chunky wallets like I for some reason like I the medium size wallets are not my favorite I have I'm so weird I don't know why uh but this one is just really cute and I believe this oh where's the price that's what I don't like about like sometimes that um about these stores is they take the price with them but I do have the receipt so let me see how much I paid for this because I do not remember. Ah, it was $44. No, it was, yeah, $44.10, which I think is not too bad. And then the other thing that I got, I got two things from the store. Really, really excited about this one. And it is this beautiful Valentino Rock Stud Clutch. So it's in a beautiful cobalt blue, silver, is it silver? Yeah, silver, silver hardware beautiful there's a little valentino stamp on the back and this one was actually 99 dollars, which it seems a little expensive i know but these actually retail for a lot more than that and resale they go for like upwards of 200 something dollars so uh like 250 and this one is a beautiful beautiful color and i think the reason that they priced it kind of low is that there is i don't know if it's really coming up on camera because of the lighting but you can see there's like a little like smudge right there. It's a little like dirty, but uh, usually these kinds of things, like you can just use a little bit of conditioner or cleaner and it'll come right off like really easily. So it's all, I know it's weird, but like sometimes I'm always like, ooh, like I, like I hope things like get um, like sold to the stores that are like a little bit in more of a used condition that you can easily clean because they price it lower when things are a little bit dirty and need a little bit of like a fixing up. And that is like my specialty, so I'm very excited about that. I got this for $99. And I don't know, this is another thing I might be keeping for myself. I really, really like this clutch a lot. I might, I, or I'll just like keep it for a little while and then um, maybe put it up in the shop. I don't know, but really, really like it. I've been looking for something to like put like my receipts in when I go out shopping. So I think this might be, this might be it. Plus, I love the size of it. It's really, really nice. So, um, Valentino Rock Stud Clutch for $99. Beautiful. Okay, so those are the things that I got when I went, like when I went out back to, um, when I went to the next set of places that I went to. Then I doubled back and went to the first um, store that I, the first area that I went up. 
I'm not even making any sense. I'm sorry. So, I'm just really excited to show you guys what I ended up getting. So, the next thing that I have to share with you guys. Now, this, uh... This is actually one of my favorite, like I'm, um, like I talk about Chloe all the time because I love Chloe bags so much. I so many of them are so iconic, and like the, um, whenever you think of Chloe, you always think of, um, the Chloe Marcy, which is amazing. I love the Marcy bags, and then you think of the Paddington with the locks that were like eight million pounds, but they're so gorgeous and also so iconic because they used to, they were like the it bag for a while and they still are beautiful bags and people still love them um but i for some reason am so obsessed with this collection too for one particular reason and here it is the this beautiful chloe it's so 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 stunning i always forget the name of this but the lock is my favorite and a lot i know a lot a lot a lot of um like other brands copied the lock. I believe Chloe was the first one, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too sure. At least to my knowledge, and or at least the most iconic to me is Chloe for using this lock. I love it so much. It's so cool. I had a wallet just like this in the shop not too long ago, and it did not last very long because that was such a gorgeous wallet. And this bag is no exception. The color of this is beautiful. I don't know if it's coming up, like, on camera. I think it looks a little brown. Um, in person, it's more of, like, a mauve. Like, it definitely has, like, a purpley undertone, which I think is so pretty. And compare, like, add, like, the gold hardware with that. And I love this, too, because the strap is, um, you can wear it shoulder. And then you can actually elongate it. And this actually becomes a very nice crossbody if you do it like this, which is cool. And then if you decide to do it this way and do it smaller, then it just becomes kind of like more of like a shoulder length, like a longer shoulder, which is really nice as well. So this bag is just so versatile. There's so many different ways you can carry it. I love the turn lock. I just keep talking about this bag. I know you guys are probably like Hadrian, stop talking, but it's just so beautiful. Look at the inside. Such a pretty like ballerina pink interior. Leather comes with a dust bag and it's just so 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 beautiful and yeah i love this bag so much um this one was a little bit pricier at i think it was like 250 i think i showed you guys in the store how much it was so correct me like i i, I think it was like 250 so beautiful i'm i think i'm gonna give this to mom for her birthday i'm not 100 percent certain yet i'm still shopping around for gifts because mom's birthday is, is gonna be like in two weeks and I just want to get her something really great and I know she really likes um this style and I, I sh she doesn't have um any bags with the, the any Chloe bags with this turn lock on it so I think this might be the one but I'm not too sure because I'm still looking at other couple options that I uh I'm thinking about getting for her but this one is a pretty good one so we'll see um if this pops up in the shop then you'll know what my decision was and okay last but not least this one <sighs> This is the main reason why I went back to this store, because I was like, you know what? I really do like that bag, and luckily when I went back, it was still there. And even better was that it came, I didn't even know this, that it came with the box. It came with literally everything. So, here it is. As you can see from the box, it's Saint Laurent. This is so exciting for me. Okay, so, Saint Laurent. And if you watched the video, you probably, if you watched the beginning of the video, you probably already know what it is. Ooh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think it is. Um, because I think I did film in that store. And if I didn't film in that store, I put it on Instagram. Oh, I for sure put it on Instagram. So if you guys saw it, let me know. Comment down below. I'm going to give you guys a second. But um, here is the dust bag. And it also does come with, like, the original cards and everything of that nature. But I'm so excited that it came with a box. Like, it literally came with everything. Like, I bought it brand new from the store, which is awesome. And <laughs> it just, like, fell out of the bag. doop doop doo so there it is. It is the YSL, I believe this is called the Envelope Wallet on the Chain. Um, and it's in this chevron pattern. And what I love about this is that it's the black on black version. So the hardware is all black as well. And it just opens up like this. Well, let me show you the back. It's beautiful. And this is in like a, a caviar leather. Oh, you guys. And what's really nice, too, is that you can actually remove the long strap. So if you wanted to just use it as a clutch or a large wallet, that can definitely be possible. You can just tuck it inside like I, like I did right here. But the chain, it's also black. It's so gorgeous, you guys. 
and the interior is really really nice it holds a ton of cards it has a middle zipper pocket and it's just like it's iconic this bag is so so beautiful and oh my gosh I'm like so dead over it and this bag I believe it was 999 which I think is actually a really fair price for how much a uh, more than actually really fair price for um, the condition of the bag is literally like new it doesn't have anywhere and we're not even like the hardware doesn't have any scratches or anything it's beautiful the leather is perfect it comes with all the cards the dust bag the box and everything which I didn't think it came with originally and then when a the guy like brought out the box he was like oh it also comes with the box and I was like and then it had the dust bag and the cards inside and I was just like oh my gosh mine is blown so excited so so I don't know like do you guys love it is it gorgeous I love it so much it's I don't know if I'm, should I keep it? I don't know. I don't know. Because I did recently get something else as well, which is very similar to this. I don't, some of you guys might already know what it is. I think I might have shown you guys by accident. I haven't even actually filmed the video for it yet. But, um, I already, I got something very similar to this. So I'm not sure if I'm going, which one, like maybe I'll put both of them in the shop and whichever one actually, if either one sells, then I'm going to keep the other one for sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, so gorgeous. I'm so excited for this bag. It's so pretty. I actually saw the larger version of this in another store for the same price, but it was, I had a lot more wear on it. And I did have, like, wear marks on the side, and I would have to, um, color match it and all that stuff. And I don't, I asked if it came with a box, actually, in that store or a desk bag or anything, and they said it didn't come with anything just by itself, which is normally the case with these sorts of things. So I was pleasantly surprised that this came with everything. So I'm very happy. Um, but that is pretty much gonna round out today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out all my finds and going to the stores with me. I'm so sorry, it's just like been so rainy recently. And I know my videos have been spontaneous this past week um, with the sale that happened on Depop and all that, trying to get everything mailed out on time in an orderly fashion. It took me a hot second to recuperate from that, but um, I learned a lot from that experience, and I think I'm gonna have, like, I'm definitely gonna have a better game plan in the future, so, um, that doesn't happen again, because I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> can't believe I didn't post a video in days. So, thank you guys again for all your comments and messages, too, um, asking if I was okay, you guys are so sweet, um, and I, I love each and every single one of you, you guys know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so thank you guys for helping me make my dreams come true because they are all, like, coming to fruition, and it's just, like, so nice and so, like, it's, it's so crazy that, like, we've built, like, this, such a, such a beautiful little community here, and I, I love you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart, you guys are so amazing, so I just can't thank you guys enough for all that you guys do for me, and I just appreciate you guys, so I just, I just had to say that right now. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Again, hope you guys had fun. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. I love you guys. I'll see you guys. I love you guys. I just, honestly, I do. I do. I wish I could just give each and every single one of you guys a hug. And it, oh, it's really cool too that I've been seeing a lot of you guys recently too out at the thrifts. So if you ever see me, don't hesitate to say hi. I promise I'm probably more shy than you are about seeing you guys in real life um, because it's just like, it's it's like, I, just, I don't believe it. So, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, you guys. So, this is a Michael Kors bag. It's missing a couple things. It's missing the dongle. There should be a little dongle. There should be a crossbody strap. Uh, let's see what the pricing looks like. $7.99. Ugh, the only thing is this is going to be a hot mess to try and fix up. I don't know.